Hello everybody, it's City Med Haven here today, and, um, okay, VK1681P got a buff, Mouse got a buff, a lot of the German super heavies got a buff, uh, primarily top speed, the only one that had any armor reworking is the VK, so, hi, how are you guys? Uh, we'll, we'll get into more details about this later. I mean, there's a lot to go over. Other than the fact that the mouse top speed from 20 to 25, along with that, dispersion value's got to increase on the move, so really, to have fun with the snapshots that the tank already wasn't suffering with to begin with. So, reload time, a whole second off. My mouse is a mobility build, so really, this is nothing but benefits for me. Now, Maoshin, terrain resistance, dude. These terrain resistance, everything that they did, literally cutting it in half. Yeah, that thing's going to feel really mobile. Uh, up next, we have the Tier 8 VK101P, top speed up to 23. Why does the, why does the VK get the lowest increase? Like, that that confuses me a tad bit. Just a little bit. Like, uh, I guess. Whatever. Okay. Now, the biggest one that I'm excited for, and at the same time, not excited for, I'll get into those reasons later, we have the front hall gun ports, the machine gun port up on the front from 150 to 180, commander's hatch from 150 to 200, and, yeah, that's actually some pretty massive buffs, so, I'm actually going to play this tank live, uh, it's been a minute since I played a tank live, I, I've been up for... About 24 hours now, so I'm actually a little bit tired. I was waiting for this update to finish. That way I could jump on, play a few matches, and zonk out. But, you know, while I have you guys here, I'm, I'm going to play a match in the VK. Now, I did make a review on this tank a while back. And my opinion of this tank was, you do not buy this tank to be competitive. You, you do not buy this tank to go nuts. I'm going to go turn off my AC. Also, for anyone who's uh, willing to help me, how's the difference with the AC being off compared to being on? <laughs> Something simple, but hey, it's it's there. So, I, I've put a lot of matches in my VK. I like the VK. I've, I've two-marked it. I have a lot of fun inside the VK. It's just one of those tanks that I normally only played whenever it was plus one, minus one, and matchmaking right now being absolutely amazing and essentially just saying hey have a top tier game right off the bat you're going to be up against tier sixes and tier sevens and yeah we're going to be able to test out the new hatch the new gun port which really you know gun ports there's a lot of tank models out there right now that the gun port was just absolutely removed okay you know what this thing is hauling some butt at 28 this is actually really fast I am not gonna. This feels nice. I was not expect. I didn't even think about the speed buff. I was thinking about the armor. So the speed and the armor. Um, starting off, two buffs. Two buffs right off the bat. I, I personally think that's a little bit too much. Just because if you buff one aspect of a tank, don't buff multiple. Do one at a time. So like the armor starting off probably would have been a good buff. And then to slowly work and check out a couple of other things as I am sitting here getting ready to take a shot. Line it up. Good angle here. Let's see what we can do. We're going to start backing up. Alrighty, 320 blocked. Yeah, so far off to a really good start. we got a King Tiger off in the distance there. Can we get a shot in the side? Yes, we can for 431. Sweet. Now... Reverse speed, exactly the same. They did not change any of the reverse speeds, just the top speeds and everything else. Honestly, this thing feels a little redonkulous right now, to be honest. This feels just crazy good. However, we are a big hunk of metal. I'm a little bit afraid to be pulling up right here to take shots. And there's a heat round coming into the side. So I heard that coming. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to pull up right here to this little spot to cover our uh, lower plate as much as we can. We 
and just wiggle. Wiggle a tad bit. Oh, I'm sorry, IS, you were... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll jump into that after the fact. So, with the hatch buff, hatches are supposed to be weak spots. You know, they're, they're, they're supposed to be weak. They're not supposed to be more than the actual top armor of a tank. You know, unless you're looking at, like, the uh, VK100. The way that tank's been put together, it's been like that for a really long time. And you gotta work around it. Try and find a way to work around it. Now, the price tag that this tank has, it's not a bad price tag. Now, I can't remember the exact amount, but my brain is smooth at the moment, so ask me later. Now, the 28 top speed, I already feel the difference that's making in this tank. The 25 that they buffed it up to, mine's a mobility build. It was never really meant to be anything else except for just mobility and speed, just to get into a little bit more aggressive positions to try and help the team. Now, with this new buff that was applied allowing the tank to go 25, I kind of feel like I can get away with sacrificing a couple of things to make this tank a little bit better. Right off the bat, I'm going to start loading in the premium rounds here. 7 to 13, you know, not exactly a great go on the uh, match here, but it is what it is. We're going to, I don't know, depending on how this one goes, we might play another one, we might not. But the VK, th this is one of those tanks that it was a meme. It was a meme the entire time you played it. It was never really meant to be anything else, in my opinion. But then, you know, I wonder, can we get a RAM on that SU going 28 in a 168 ton tank? Because he's not going to be able to out reverse my top speed now. We are going to catch up. We are going to make him... Have a fantastic day. And look at that, he's bouncing. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Simple love tap. Simple love tap. Yeah! Okay, I'm happy. I can die happy now. But... Oh, and the ammo rack. Alright, I, I guess I deserve that. But... With the way that they did rework this tank... The buffs I find to be a little bit too much. Now, right here, I, I, I'm playing this tank like basically that probably I, I could have not asked for a better match. To be completely honest, I could have not asked for anything better. This is absolutely amazing right now. 6,254, 4,000 blocked. We're going to be angling up against a Stone Cold. He's going to get shot into our lower plate. Or is he running the single? That's really surprising. But, yeah, you know, we, we're ammo racked. We have no fear. Or we are a VK. We are gigantic. And our 24 second reload. Ooh. Talk about a reload. Hey, hello, Stone Cold. How are you? Oh, the double shot. And we got slapped. Yeah, that was... Even though it was a defeat, definite loss for a mobility build on the VK for that run. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that was probably one of my best matches inside this tank, to be completely honest. Four destructions. Ooh, 277,000 silver. I'm... Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mastery badge, too. Yeah, mastery badge. And on the way to the third mark. Okay. I, I was not expecting this to be the first match of the day. Or first match since the 28th. But, yeah. Ending up in port 4,770 blocked. Now, the VK, jumping into this buff, I personally do not see why they buffed this tank at all. Just because it, the VK did not need this much love at all. Now, I'm going to bring you guys over here. Hi, how are you? 
So right here in comparison, we are using the VK36H, a tier six heavy tank that a lot of people grind out. Some people have it as a primary tank that they like to use just because it's good. Against the standard rounds, keep in mind, standard, you have a 50% chance to go through the hatch at 150 millimeters. But they buffed it to 180 millimeters thick. Along with that, the weak spot on the hatch, which has another 40% chance to go through, 40.2, like, and then 43. You know, you got a better chance of pinning right here than you do the actual hatch. Um, but this buff has made those weak spots disappear if we had this buff on tanks gg right now this entire front of the tank would be red now even against the premium rounds okay keep in mind 180 so 98 percent chance 194 pin if this is 180 you know so let's actually flatten this out as much as we can he would have a 64 percent chance to go through a very tiny spot rather than a hundred percent he would only have a 64 percent chance along with that with the hatch up here being 200 millimeters i think the best thing i can do is try and find a 200 millimeter spot on the hall which really there isn't any 200 millimeter spot on the hall that we can actually compare this to Un unless we jumped over to the vk100 just to give you an idea let's actually angle this up to 200 millimeters right here as I'm struggling to do so. I am struggling to do so. A 43% chance to go through 200 millimeters, which means they are now relying on pure RNG for their penetrations. Now, don't get me wrong, 6.0 brought in plus 25 minus 10 on penetrations, or minus 15 on penetration. I can't remember the exact number. It's been so long since they did the buff or since they did the rework, but then you also, had, you also do less damage which means even if you do get the shell to go through being a lower tier, your chances of actually damaging this tank and taking it down have gone down dramatically. This tank has become the ultimate sill clubber in tier eight. I mean, a tier eight sill clubber, I've never heard of it before, but the VK just took the spot, took the totem. Now, over the next couple of days, I'm going to get some replays inside the mouse and I'll, I'll I'll work on the mouse and try and get some of that out there. But as of right now, I just wanted to get this out there that the VK, the armor buff was not needed. And since they applied the armor buff, this tank has become a little bit too strong. With the 28 top speed that I had, I mean, my first match in four days was an absolute phenomenal game and it's just ridiculous there's absolutely no point for anything to be that intense i'm sorry i'm just looking up a couple of things so um what i have been doing the past four days is i've actually been playing world of tank blitz and I kind of feel like I'm extremely mean on World of Tank Blitz. So this is my statistics right now on Blitz. Okay, Mad Haven, NA. Okay, I have, um, what is that? Seven Kalabanovs, 10 Radley Walters in the course of 203 matches. And this is just my last eight games. My overall is not that high. My overall is actually a a KD of 2.68 and a damage ratio of 2.85. But World of Tank Blitz, it's not a bad game, to be honest with you. World of Tank Blitz, it's a little bit different. It's 7 versus 7, but I've been enjoying my time playing it. Now, you know, you got to change up every once in a while. Blitz, that felt, that felt like a pretty good change up. Yeah, it did. Now, the VK, rather than buffing two things in this tank... They should have only buffed one. Um, the armor buff, I did not... I don't really understand why they gave this thing such a dramatic armor buff. 50 millimeters on the hatch and 40 millimeters on 
was it 150 from 150 to 80 so a 30 millimeter buff on the gun port in front i don't know why they thought this would be a great idea because now it makes it to where tier six is with being a fully upgraded tier six that they run into this tank they virtually stand no chance it's got extremely good traverse speed right now combined with that 28 top speed it's going to be ramming tier sixes for almost all their health not including the fact that it has a 440 alpha and with with a mobility build a 12.5 second reload and it's fast it's got decent speed in close quarters combat but a little bit too much so other than that it was nice having you guys here you know, if, if you guys agree with my views, let me know down in the comments. And seriously, let me know how the audio swapped once I turned off my AC because, oh man, yeah, I forgot I had it on. But, yeah, I do not approve of the VK's buff. Um, the mouse, all the rest of them, it, it's going to take some time to get used to because I've been playing with the mouse at a 20 top speed for a really long time. Um, the mouse is also one of those tanks I've been working on as well. I have four key cards. Oh, I have four top secrets. Okay. But the mouse is one of those tanks that I I've had for a very long time. And I occasionally pull it out just to play a few matches in it. Now, even though I pull this out occasionally, I have it two marked. I have Ace Tanker, 210 matches. I can tell you now that the mouse it didn't need a mobility buff none of these tanks needed a mobility buff the mouse needed a rework on the gun mantle that's about it bringing up the armor a tad bit making it a bit more viable but i'll, I'll jump in that on a later date um other than that dude it's nice having you guys here if you liked the video leave a like comment subscribe and keep in mind i'm gonna pass out i've been awake for a minute i'm a little bit tired however that vk match that felt pretty good not gonna lie so, till next time, see you guys later.